Hey guys, it's time for another episode of New Zealand's Biggest Gap Year, where a couple of years ago, Robin and I did 365 days of 365 activities all around New Zealand, doing some pretty epic stuff around the country. Just like today, in this video, we are heading to the enchanted track of Mount Taranaki. And this is one of the many hikes you can find around the Mount Taranaki and Egmont National Park area. And yeah, it's a pretty cool track, so I hope Hope you enjoy this video um, and at the end of the video we're going to go through all the comments and questions you guys had when we published this video for the first time on YouTube so join me at the end of the video for that. The Egmont National Park's forests are very famous for being super super dense with vegetation and looking like fairy tale forests. No, even better, enchanted forests. And that's what we're going to have a look at today. There is a track called the Enchanted Track. And if that doesn't sound intriguing, then I do not know what is. It's named like that just because the entire walk looks like a mystical forest. It just looks like you stepped into child's book and there is gonna be the red hooded girl running and the wolf following her and three little pigs um, trying to build a house while there's gonna be a witch making a gingerbread house nearby. It just looks like that. It's incredible and um, it's like being transported to a complete different world within only like 15 minute drive. It's quite incredible. The track amazed us from about the first 10 meters of it. It was quite incredible how we literally walked inside the forest and we felt wrapped by it straight away. The atmosphere is so mystical that it actually, it actually felt like the trees just wrapped themselves behind, a bit like Alice in Wonderland, you know, you start walking and then it just closes behind you as you go. Yeah, it doesn't seem real somehow. There's tree trunks with like all sorts of moss growing on them. There's like mushrooms growing on the trees. There's other plants, other trees growing on them. There's trees growing upon trees. All of this green tree branches are sort of like, instead of going straight up to reach the sky or, you know, reach the light like forests and trees do, these tree branches are just doing all sorts of like weird bendy tricks. They're just winding in and out of each other and it's just a really awesome forest. Like, you can't really describe it that well. You just gotta see, just look at the videos. Just look at this freaking tree. Look at how much moss is growing on it. That's crazy. Whoa. Oh. There's even moss growing in the leaves. Another thing that I really liked is that the, the path uh, where we were walking was a bit of, you know, um, wooden parts and, and a few bridges, but most of it was actually just roots. It was, it, it was just kind of like windy roots that feel like tortured, you know, and then they go and they go up to the trees, which feel like tortured on themselves with vine torturing the trees and, and all those shapes that they're making feels like, you know, it's the, the tortured forest and it feels like basically the trees are screaming at you as well because there is a lot of wind and you can hear the cracking of the trees. So we come to the end of this beautiful beautiful walk and the sun finally shines when she goes to the bathroom. Right since we spent the whole day um, looking at moss and it all looks so yummy. I just found us some dinner so this is what we're gonna be eating for lunch. I have to stop eating plants that I found along tracks. I just have to stop. Um, it's disgusting. Do you want some more? No, thank you. Come on, mm. dinner. You just said it tastes disgusting. No, it tastes good. <laughs> when I'm talking about trees, I get wood, okay? <laughs> 
<laughs> I just love trees. These trees are the best trees I've ever seen. They're really cool. Okay. I'm getting a bit embarrassed about it. I'm getting a bit embarrassed talking about the trees <laughs> because I get so excited talking about them. Alright guys, I hope you enjoyed that video and like the look of that track, I have to say it's one of my favourite forests that I have been in in New Zealand, it was really really stunning. Um, we got a couple of questions and uh, comments about the enchanted track at Mount Taranaki. Uh, Sandy Sandy says, hi, is the Egmont National Park, is it nearby Mount Taranaki? The waterfall in the park is that the melted glacier of Mount Taranaki. All right, so the Egmont National Park is actually surrounding Mount Taranaki. So everything around just below and up the mountain even is is the Egmont National Park. So that's that's pretty much the same area just to um, avoid uh, confusion. And the waterfall in the park, I imagine you're referring to Dawson Falls, which we actually have a video of us visiting a couple of episodes before this. Um, in terms of where it comes from, you know, I'm not 100% sure if it's from a glacier or a spring or something like that but you can actually find out more about the geology and geography of Mount uh, of Mount Taranaki and the Egmont National Park at the Dawson's Fall um, Center which is just a little further up the road from the Dawson's Fall Walk itself so you can find a lot more about that sort of thing at this uh, sort of like it's like a mini museum in the National Park so that's definitely worth checking out to hopefully find those answers to that question um, and we also got a question or more of a, a statement from Beatty saying I absolutely hate this track it ended up taking my family four to five hours to finish this and we got lost and ended up at a hut okay so what sounds like has maybe happened here is that there are some signs along all these tracks and some of some of the tracks in the around New Zealand like anywhere they do lead off to other places but the good thing about the tracks in New Zealand is that they're usually very well signposted and we do know that from this track there are some signposts along the way to tell you to you know you keep on walking and in four or five hours you'll reach this hut or if you walk in another direction it'll be 30 minutes to the car park and stuff and you really need to pay attention to these signs and just really be aware of you know although you're in an amazing place and it could be easily distracting to be in somewhere so beautiful as like the enchanted track that we just talked about or just shown you guys you still need to you know be aware of where you're going and be aware of how long the walk should be if you're planning a walk that takes 30 minutes or an hour then if you've been walking for a couple of hours you can probably guarantee that you've gone wrong somewhere and it's probably a better idea to turn back than to keep on going and yeah like I say the signposts are pretty obvious around New Zealand um, on the Department of Conservation tracks so just make sure you keep an eye out for them to make sure you are going in the right way so um, I'm sorry for your bad experience um, yeah I, I hope it's just uh don't really I'm, I hope you guys got back safely I'm sure you did since you managed to uh, put this comment on YouTube all right so that's the end of that video if you do have any questions or comments of your own make sure you put that in the comments below and um, also you can ask us questions directly on YouTube on our um, live Q&A session every single Sunday at 8 a.m. New Zealand time Alternatively, you can head to nzpocketguide.com, which has thousands and thousands of articles about traveling in New Zealand, so you'll probably find what you're looking for there. Alright, that's the end of this video, and see you for the next one.